Hello, my friends. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're ready for another YouTube video from your old buddy, DadCraft73. We're back here playing some Direwolf 20 1.12 modded Minecraft. And man, you know we're having a good old time. That is for sure and for certain. There is no question about it. Oh, man. All right, let's get to work. Let's stop waxing on and off about how awesome this game is. We love it, or you probably love it too, or you wouldn't be watching it. Let me show you what we got going on here. So today, we got so much stuff to do. In yesterday's episode, we're going to talk about this in just a second. I'm going to get something while I'm in here anyway. In yesterday's episode, we went down here and we made all, we did all these bees. Oh, so many. I love it. <laughs> we got to get that squared away him in today's episode for sure. Uh, hopefully, we'll get time to do that. We've got uh, a couple of projects we got to knock out first of all. And I really don't know how long they're going to take. But anyway, before we do any of that stuff, oh, let me, I got to get one more thing. See, I'm all distracted. Where is. Did I put it here? No. Did I put it here? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check this out. So when I logged on, I wish you could see it, but up here in the corner where all these like configuration things are, there was like this little bar and it said, you've got mail, essentially. And it said I had mail. So I made myself a mailbox, super easy to make, just from forestry. Let me show you. No, not mail forestry. Right there, mailbox, super simple, right? Some tin, a sort of casing, some chests. We get ourselves a mailbox. All right, and I put this thing down here, and I opened it like so, and sitting right in here was a was this letter. It was closed. It's not tore open like it is now, but it was closed. It's from Java Dad. So let's read it real quick. Nothing like some good old fashioned virtual snail mail, and he sent me some propolises and some stamps. Now propolis, uh, they're used to make letters. So let's take a look here and see what we can do. Letter. Yeah, so a piece of paper and a propolis of some sort makes you a letter. And then you can, like, address it and send it off. Oh, man. This makes me so happy. You know, like, uh, do you remember that show? Maybe. I mean, you might remember it yourself. Or if you're a, um, if you're a parent, your kids may remember. <laughs> but as soon as I opened up the game and saw that mail thing, I thought of that Blue's Clue show where it says, Here's the mail, it never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. When it comes, I want to wail mail. <laughs> I sang that to myself. That's how I do. Anyway, mailbox. Thank you, JD. We'll have to think of something cool to send him back. I don't know what that might be. I've been killing mobs out here, taking care of business. All right, let's get started on our first project. Now, uh, this whole deal, this is a really good idea. This emerald uh, processing unit, the EPU, <laughs> or the villager processing unit, it works really good. There's just one small issue. you got to always keep a little bit of molten something or other inside this thing. So when the villagers spawn and they fall down inside this thing, they get uh, processed, right? And that's, uh, it's hard to do. Well, it used to be hard to do, but thankfully, one of my subscribers named Gadawan not only gave me an idea on how to fix it, but man, he made me a video, like a tutorial personalized just for me because he's like the real deal. So let's go ahead and see if we can't recreate what he did on that video Man, that, that's awesome. I love it when people do stuff like that. Help me out like that. Man, you know I need all the help I can get. <laughs> so anyway, we we had to get some mineral, right? Those are those like blue trees. You saw them standing there. I went flying over that way for a little ways and got myself a mineral sapling. And then I just came back and I put that little bit of dirt in there. Tore up that uh, granite that was there after our chiseling um, craziness. And just put some dirt in there. And I've been growing them. Check it out. I have... And farming them for a little while mineral I have 74 now whatever 83 of those little crystal these chunks and I've got some mineral wood now the other thing that I did um, one of the things I need to craft here today is a piece of crystallized mineral and then you could take uh, like this you could take these guys and put those like in a nine three by three and you can get a chunk of that or you could take wood and stick it inside the fluid transposer, like a so, and it turns into mineral resin. And then you can just take a tank, 
Let's switch this guy around. Can I put that in there? No. Can I like I'll put it in there manually? No. Okay. And then we can stick it in there, and it'll fill it up, right? And it's a good amount. A good amount. And then I can put this back here and go the other way. And we'll just keep processing that. We'll get a little bit of a store of that. I think that's a good idea. And then here's all you need to do: get yourself a casting basin. You can use the one that's on your existing tinker smeltery. Not a problem. Then get yourself your portable tank. Stick it right on top. All right. Hit it on the bottom with one of these things, and it pours out the resin into this, and you can get these chunks of crystallized mineral. The other thing you can do with these guys is you can convert them, right? So if you need more of the little shards, uh, you can do that. So we'll just let that sit there because uh, we want to do some crafting. Let me get one more of those. Uh, maybe two more. <laughs> Why not? Okay. So we're going to use, if you didn't figure it out that we're, we're messing around with Mineral from the Integrated Dynamics mod, we're going to use the Integrated Dynamics mod to control how much fluid we pour out of our smeltery. Okay. Now, I, I will admit, I have never used Integrated Dynamics ever in my life before today. Um, I've seen some videos on it, and man, I was frankly a little nervous or overwhelmed about how crazy it was. But then Gatawan, man, he set me straight. I think it's important. Sometimes the mods that make you the most nervous to sort of get involved in are probably the ones you need to dive in and start messing with. Because once you figure those out, man, nothing is, is too hard at that point. So let's throw some junk in here. So I'm going to do a little bit of crafting. And we'll talk about what these things are down the road here a little bit. So the first thing I need is a fluid reader, right? Fluid reader. Um, we need some of these input variable transformers. That means, do I maybe have? No, I need to make some of these for sure. So variable cards are just these crystallized chunks around a piece of paper. Hopefully we have that. Okay. Uh, let's keep those in our inventory. Then I have to make an input variable transformer. I wonder if I have a sticky piston. I do. Got lucky on that. We'll put that in there. And then... Uh, we should have all the stuff. Yeah. So there's our fluid reader. We'll talk about what that's for in just a second. The next thing we need is a redstone writer. Paperback writer. Uh, let's see. We need an output variable transformer, which is essentially the same, but just a regular piston. Okay. We don't have a regular piston. Let us make one. Can we make one? We can. All right. And now we can do the thing. Do I have redstone in here? I do. Okay. Let's make ourselves a couple blocks. One, two. Okay, redstone, right tour. All right, and then we should be able to make this. Did I not make these things? How about we actually make them? <laughs> and then we make this thing. Okay, so we have a fluid reader. We have a redstone writer. Now we need some cable. So if we do, they're called logic cables in this in this uh, mod and that's a couple sticks of redstone and some more of these chunks let's see one two three that's plenty nine is probably way more than we need okay we need a logic programmer that's why we needed some of those blocks of crystallized mineral can we make one of these no okay do we have some planks uh no do we have some wood yes here you go out of here a second and let's get this and then we'll just go over here so it doesn't try to like make like a million of those or anything. Okay, throw that guy in there. All right, we got to get this thing called a logic programmer. Don't worry if this sounds like all crazy confusing. I'm going to walk you through exactly what we have to do. It's going to be amazing. And we need something called a variable store. One of these guys right here. Uh, can I make this? Oh, I can. Okay. And that right there, these guys, so some variable cards... A fluid reader, a redstone writer, uh, some logic cable, variable store, logic programmer. That should be all we need. We do need one more thing, though, and that's a timer. Do I have one? Yes, I do. Okay, so we got a timer. All right, let us go out here. Oh, it's nighttime. I guess we've been talking too much already. All right, so let's sleep through the night, and we'll go out here, and we'll see if we can't get this set up. It's really easy. Trust me. And I'm going to walk you through every step of the way so it shouldn't be that big of a deal okay all right so over here we have a lever 
right? And I was out here messing around with this timer earlier, trying to do some timings and some things like that. It wasn't working. <laughs> but if I turn this guy on and I put this thing down, right? We can set this thing. Oh, the other thing that I made is a um, gem cast, right? So if we look here, gem cast, gem cast, one of these. Right, so we just essentially I sacrificed an emerald. I poured out some gold, two blocks of gold, two ingots of gold, um, onto the casting table and made myself a gem cast. So in instead of making uh, emerald blocks, right, we're gonna make gems, emeralds. Um, and the reason we're doing that is because the fluid requirements are a little bit lower, right? So a whole tank or a whole block of emerald takes a ridiculous amount of fluid. Gems are a little bit faster. So anyway, we've got this timer sitting here, and we've got this lever turned on because we don't want this thing to be running at the moment. And we have to put a timer in here of 400 and, let's say, 60, 60 seconds, okay? So when this thing um, is allowed to run, so essentially when it doesn't have a redstone signal, every 460 seconds, it's going to send out a pulse, right and that pulse is essentially going to be sent into the faucet to pour out the stuff that we want okay so that was essentially step one easy now let's go take this fluid reader we're going to come around the back side here we're going to put this on our drain right and we're going to take some logic cable and just so we're prepared we're going to start running it this way and we'll just go ahead and run it all the way around to there okay okay for now now, we need some variable cards. Let me show you how this thing works. So this fluid reader, so um, I guess first of all, the Tinker Smeltery, all it is is a tank, right? And if it has different kinds of fluids in there, the system sort of treats it as different tanks, right? Little mini tanks. That's why you could like change the order of the items and things like that, right? So this fluid reader gives us a whole bunch of information about this tank, right? Does this, it's a, a check that says, is a tank full? Is a tank empty? Is a tank not empty? Um, is it a tank? Um, fluid amount, total fluid amount, the fluid capacity, total fluid capacity, et cetera, et cetera. So we have all of these different like things that we can sort of monitor through this fluid reader. And the thing that we're worried about or that we want to care about is the fluid amount. So we're going to go ahead and stick in one of our variable cards. And now we have a variable that says, hey, keep track of how much fluid is in this smeltery, okay? So we take that out and now we can save it, okay? Now before we get too much further, let me get this, okay, this. And we're gonna put down underneath here our variable store. Essentially a variable store allows us to put these variables in there and then they can be referenced by anything that's sort of connected along this integrated dynamics network. It's really cool. You know, it's like you make a variable, you store it, and then down the road you want to say, hey, what was that variable equal to? By putting it in the store, in the variable store, you can access it down the road. Okay? Now this is where we need our logic programmer. We're going to put that thing down. And essentially the logic programmer allows us to do things with variables. So the first thing we want to do is create an integer. Now if you know anything about programming, an integer is a number. And we're going to say, let's make this thing equal to 600 and... 68. And the reason we're doing that is because a gem is 666 millibuckets of uh, emeralds, right? So we're going to do 668 because we don't want all of the fluid to be poured out of the thing, right? We just want enough for a gem. We want to leave a little bit in there so the next villagers can still, you know, you know processed and stuff <laughs> so we're gonna put one of our variable cards in here and essentially we're gonna say hey just take this variable right here and set it equal to 668 that's all I want you to do right easy as pie all right so we need to make one more variable and that's a less than variable and we're gonna say hey if the fluid amount in the tank in the smeltery is less than 668 you say true okay so this is a, it's a boolean check um, yes or no right so if the fluid amount is less than 668 say it's true if it's not say it's false right that's all we're gonna do so we're gonna take this guy out and we're gonna keep him and we've got these two guys okay so now we're done 
right these guys done yeah there was seven yeah okay so now we're done with that guy that guy we can pick up here in just a minute and in our variable store we're gonna put these two right so this is our value 668 this is how much fluid is in our tank right those little variables that we saved and this one right here is the boolean check all right now if I go over here to this guy and I put this redstone writer here if we click on him we have a couple things so we can take this variable card right here and we can stick it in here right and this variable card says hey wait a minute is the fluid in the tank less than 668 and right now it's saying false it's not so there's no redstone signal it's false right if this is true we're gonna get a redstone signal out of this make sense yes yes okay so with this setup we can essentially now control how much fluid remains in the tank and generate gems all day long so if we take this guy and we flip him on right in about 460 ticks which I don't really know how much that is what's that like 40 seconds or something like that we're gonna get this thing it's gonna pulse a redstone signal and then it's going to wait another 460 seconds or 460 ticks and it's going to pulse another one let's go make one more thing really quick before we do uh, too much more okay I, I think it's called oh let's see let's look at um, integrated dynamics it's like a display screen type deal um, what's it called reader I don't know maybe I don't know what it is display panel visually display a variable value in the world as text yes yeah, so we want one of these guys so we need a static light panel can we make one or two of these one two okay we can and then can we make this we can okay display panel I think this thing works all right let's go back over here it's weird I I was messing around with some of this on the on my creative world and I got all these achievements and then when I came over here to this server I didn't get them anymore so I, this is the first time I've made one of those I don't know why that is crazy game all right do I have a thing in here look I have two emeralds ha 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 that worked like a dream so if I put this guy here okay and I should be able to let's turn this timer off right turn him off or turn this thing on so we can block this timer and if I take this guy right here actually no let's do let's do this one let's do fluid amount let's make a copy of fluid amount so to make a copy you put a variable in your crafting window and you put a blank card right beside it, a blank variable card and then you get a copy all right and then we're gonna put the original back in here and now I should be able to go in here and I should be able to put him on there so this thing tells me there's 228 millibuckets of molten emerald in this thing now if I go up here are you ready for some magic we go up here and we turn this thing on oh wait please don't fall down in that hole I gotta I gotta have a better way to get in and out of this thing all right we turn him on he's got plenty of essence in him my tanks empty here but I think we'll be able to get a couple villagers to spawn now let's get out of here and go back over and watch okay look it's climbing right and we can actually turn this off right doesn't matter it's climbing 606 648 uh oh now this thing just turned off it just turned off and it should pour out an emerald in just a second what's that telling me variable with id7 could not be found within the current network why not why are you not in here variable seven? Oh no i pulled the took the wrong one let me take this out of here this guy should be variable seven yeah this needs to be in there and this guy needs to be here okay now I should take that error away okay so this thing just poured out an emerald now it's got four so it's gonna keep going right it's gonna keep pouring out emeralds but it's always gonna make sure to leave a little bit in there as long as this thing is producing stuff Right, you can still see there's some in there right they're taking care I'm thinking about an essence so this thing is gonna slowly work its way down so let's just sit here and watch it a second man it's so cool I'm down so as soon as this falls below 600 and what do we say 68 like right there 
Look, now we have redstone true, and this thing is submitting a redstone signal to this guy, and it's going to lock it. So it won't pour out any more of this stuff. There's 570 in there. It's right there. It won't pour out any more. It'll stop now. This is going to make an emerald, right? And then it's done. Until we put more essence in there and we produce more molten emerald, it's going to stay just like that. Okay, so that's the deal. Let me go over here. I want to walk through this whole thing just one more time. Mailbox. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I want to walk through this thing one more time just so you guys can understand it. Um, if you want to build this on your own world uh, to control, man, you can control all kinds of stuff. We may have to look at integrated dynamics as a possible solution all the time. Okay, so let's talk through this one more time and then we've got more work to do today for sure. So this right here, fluid reader. We connected it to a drain on the smeltery and we said, hey, let's record how much fluid is inside this thing and we stuck it one of these variable cards in there and we got a blank variable okay this guy right there fluid amount so it says okay look here hey man how much fluid you got in there and we record it okay then we created another variable card that was just an integer a number equal to 668 then we used our logic programmer to say hey is the amount of fluid in the smeltery less than 668 millibuckets yes or no if the answer is yes then we want to send a redstone signal to this timer to lock it so it doesn't keep running right if the answer is no which means there's more than 668 millibuckets of emerald inside the smeltery turn this off right and as soon as we turn it off this thing is going to be able to fire pour out an emerald, cast it, and it'll keep doing that as long as we have more than 668 millibuckets of emerald inside the smeltery. Oh, it's genius. It's genius. <laughs> There's no other word for it. I love it so much. Thank you, Gatawan. That's amazing. So there we go. Now we can just turn that on whenever we want to, let it ride, let it do whatever we need it to do, and we're in good shape. Oh, man. <laughs> I love it. All right, so there, we did a little bit of integra integrated dynamics work. We could probably do some more if we wanted to down the road. I need to clean up my interview. I interview? No, not interview. Clean up my inventory. And then we're going to come back, and we got one more quick little project we're going to knock out today. And then maybe if we've got time, we might do be doing a little bit of bee business here in just a second. Some beesness, as one of you guys said in my comments. <laughs> I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Man, I love that little Ender um, Emerald Farm thing. It, uh, I, you know, you know, whenever you build something, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just me and the fact that I'm a crazy person. <laughs> but sometimes you get yourself, uh, you, you almost get like tickled. You know, you, you build something and you're like, man, this is amazing. I love it so much. And then you just kind of like, oh man, like sometimes you smile so much if your your face hurts, and that's sort of what I'm doing right now. That's huge. I love that. Okay, um, I got to do a couple little odds and ends here before we start working on our next little project. The first thing I want to do is go find where is that upstairs? Did I just like walk by it? Yeah. Okay. I want to go here and I want to throw these in there. Okay, you just do your deal. I'll come back and get you in a second. Put those lapis in the the what's that thing called i don't know i can't remember anyway it is what it is um okay well let me just show you this too because we're about to go down into a crafting rabbit hole when i <laughs> want to get all the things i want to talk to you about i um i found all my ender drones man ender drones uh, ender bees i mean i'm not too excited about them I and mean, we're definitely going to have to do whatever breeding we can but the best thing about ender drones or ender bees in general is they have a fertility equals one trait. Now, you know, like in my in my deal here, my ender pouch, it's filling up with all these diamond drones because, man, over there in the hive, they're producing their deal, but they're set to like fertility three, I think. I'm sure they are. So we're getting all these extra drones every time it cycles through, uh, which, you know, from like a getting species or traits and stuff like that standpoint is not a bad deal, but from like a production standpoint... 
I don't want to have to deal with one more drop from these things. So what I did is I scrounged up all the end uh, Ender drones that I had, and I also had six hives, and I busted them up with my Scooper Scooperator 9000, and I ran them all through the genetic sampler, right? And I got what I wanted, B sample fertility one. So we're going to need to make ourselves a gen genetic template. Whenever we make the bees and we're saying, okay, we're satisfied that this is the bee that we want, and we're going to make like copies of it using the imprinter, one of the things we're going to imprint into those things is fertility one. That way they'll just cycle over and over and over again, and the princess and the drone, when they combine to make the queen, only produce one drone, enough to keep the cycle going. Make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll get that applied. We'll do that. We're gonna have to. We're taking not a long break because we're gonna try to do a little bit of bee stuff today, and we could probably get it done if I stop talking. Okay, network transmitter and receiver is what we need to build because over there in the the meat juice factory underneath the ground is all those storage drawers. Over here is where I do all my crafting. <laughs> and we want to be able to get to those resources that are over there. So it'll help us speed up our craft. We don't have to go running back and forth, all that kind of stuff. So we need to build a network transmitter, a network receiver, and a network card. So let's take a look and see. So the network transmitter is six advanced processors, a destruction core, a construction core, some ender pearls, and a machine casing. Can we make this? No. Okay. Let's make, I don't even know if we can make this stuff. Probably not. We probably don't have any of the resources. Well, maybe we do. Here, let's make some. There we go. All right, now we should be able to at least make the two machine casings. One, two. Okay, so we got those. And I think the receiver is the same recipe, just reversed. Yeah, it is. Okay, so this guy and this guy. And then the network card is an advanced processor, some paper, and some of that stuff. Okay, that's easy. So we're going to need seven of these advanced processors. So let's take a look here. Advanced, I don't know why I just um, didn't just look it up when I had it a second. So advanced processors are printed silicon, redstone, and a printed advanced processor. So we need some diamonds. Uh, we need seven. Seven diamonds. And we can go ahead and just, for now, oh yeah, get those out of there. Throw those in there. All right, we'll put these guys in here. Oh, like I saw. And what's in here? Anything? Oh, printed silicon. Sweet. We're going to need that. And then we just need some redstone. Let's grab a little bit of that. So we need seven pieces of redstone, right? And we need seven of these. Okay. And then we need these seven things whenever they're done. It's pretty slow, but that's okay. All right. We have the ender pearls network transmitter. All right, so we have so we have to make essentially double of all these things. So we need a construction core, which is a basic processor. Can I make two of those? Oh, my glowstone's across the way. Do I have any glowstone at all? No. Okay. Well, I'll have to go grab some glowstone. How many basic processors do we have? Uh, we have a grand total of two. I think we need more than that. So let's see. Network. We need a destruction core. Alright, so we're going to have to make some basic processors. Okay, we can do that though. So, we need some more silicon. Let's make, uh, how about we make eight of these guys, just so we have them sort of laying around. Uh, take one away from that. Okay, there's that. And let's grab some redstone. And we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll do some uh, processor. Then we need some of these guys, right? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there we go. All right, so this should be done now. Yeah, so the cool thing about this, if you just go like this, click, 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 it'll just do what you need to. And then at the same time, we'll do this over here, and we'll start making some of these guys. And while that's working, let's head over and grab ourselves some glowstone. I think that's all we need. I think we have the quartz uh, glowstone. One, two. I think we just need two pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Enderman picked up. Oh, we got to fix this farm. Mm, I don't know what to do. Part of me says tear it up and throw it away. Another part of me says there's maybe something else we could farm. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly. Oh, yeah. That thing, like, jumped at me. 
<laughs> Might have been some server lag. I'm going to go with he jumped at me, though. Um, while we're making those processors, let's grab this stuff out of the resonator. These guys. Lunar Reactive Dust. Let's go down here really quick. And let us go over here and get ourselves... Let's put this in here. And we want to make a Moonstone. Right? Make one of these guys right here. Bang. Moonstone. Done. And then we want to make some more ineffable this right let's make eight of these and then we're gonna whoa wait a minute do i have another piece in there uh ineffable uh yeah okay let's grab all nine of these so the first three of these that we've got we're gonna put uh right here so we're gonna go one two three because this I, I told you guys the other day that every time I go in and out of this door I feel like I have to duck <laughs> even though I know I don't it just feels that way so we just fix that and then the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and we're going to where's the hole right there okay so we're gonna just take this like that and we're gonna put four of these guys right here like that and I know it's kind of like a little sketchy but what this will allow us to do is actually control our descent Oh, no, fly, fly. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't so good. But allow us to co control our descent. Right? Uh, we're not doing very good at controlling our descent. Does this make you stop flying? Oh, it does. Okay. But that's okay. At least we don't have to, like, try to drive around and get right where we need to go. Yeah, you're doing all right, little thing. Let's see how many emeralds we've made since we've been messing around here. 33 emeralds, baby. How much is in there? 372. You do you, guy. All right. So let's go over here. I've oh, got to get some of those um, blocks. We'll fix that. Don't worry. All right. All of our processors should be done, I think, now. Uh, where is that? Over here? Yeah. All right. Let's get these. Hey, is there anything in here? No. Okay. And let's get these. All right. And we'll throw all of this stuff in here. Now, let's go and see if we can't make these guys. So network receiver. We have to make two, we might as well just make two construction cores. Uh, one, two. All right. And then we might as well make two destruction cores. One, two. Oh my, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm out of quartz. Oh no. Can I grind this up or something? Oh my goodness, what have I done? Can I grind it? No, not that. Can I crush it? I can crush it there. I wonder. Can I put it in the pulverizer? Let's see. Will you go in there? Yes, you will. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want it to smelt. Oh, give, it, give me that back. All right, well, there's a little bit of silicon. But that's okay. I just need one piece. All right, let's make the second one of those. Now, let's go back and make these guys. We should just be able to crank them out now. Network transmitter, bang. Right? Okay, done. And then network receiver, opposite recipe, bang, done. And then a network card, bang. Okay, those are all the pieces we need. No cables required, baby. All right, let's go here. Speaking of cables, we should we need to make a couple. Uh, let me see, where are the ones from this? Can I make just... I just need 12. 12 is plenty. I don't need to go all crazy. And we need to make one more thing, which is a storage storage deal a storage uh i always want to say storage bus because that's what it's called in um uh, applied energistics so we gotta do this okay oh okay let's see how much of this stuff we actually have okay so we have to make a an improved processor we have one of these guys this will be easy right we need a, a silicon we need one of these and a piece of redstone all right, and then we're going to go boom, 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 boom. All right, you go and take care of that. All right, and what was the other thing? So it's external external storage. No. Storage. Yeah, that's what it was, external storage. All right, we got to make one of these guys. Okay. Oh, I don't have the glowstone, do I? <laughs> I should have brought more. Nope. All right, let's go grab some. See, this is why we're doing it right here. So we can feel the pain of running back and forth over here all the time. And then we will, it drives us forward. And we're like, yeah, we got to get this fixed ASAP. 
Okay, let's go over here and let's go back in and we'll make this last guy. And then we should be in really good shape. I don't want to get too heavy. I mean, I know that we probably could. I don't want to go too crazy with refined storage just yet. We've got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Can I make this now? I need a chest. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I never have the stuff I need. Okay, storage. We're going to go here. Can we make it now? We need this. And then we can go here and we can make this guy like a so. Bang. Okay. External storage. Done. We got cables. We got the deals. Okay, let's see. I'm getting all these kind of crazy advancements, man. I'm not messing around. Okay. Network card. Okay, so that means this guy here, right, needs to go on this system. Or over here. So he's got power now. Okay. And then we got to take... Oh, no, that's wrong. I think that's wrong. That is wrong. Okay, it's this guy. Network receiver goes here. Then we right-click it with a network card, right? And that, like, sets it. Link to blah, blah, blah. Okay. So now, if we go back over here, it's going to pull a little bit more power. We don't. Our refined storage system is really not pulling that much power, but, you know, it's pulling some. All right, and then we should be able to do something easy, like put this guy... Did I have another machine casing, maybe? We're going to put this guy right here, and we're going to um, go in here and stick this guy in here. All right? So we're not very far away, so it shouldn't cost too much power. And then we should be able to do that right there. All right? Okay. Now, I hope that... Uh, now, I read somewhere that this may not work anymore. Oh, <laughs> I guess we'll find out in just a second. I don't know what we're going to do if it doesn't work, so we'll have to figure that out. Man, there's so many creepers out there. It's not even funny. Okay, let's go down here. And now, can I see stuff over there? Uh, I don't think I can. Like, uh, let's look at um, copper. I'm pretty sure I have more than 63 copper to my name. Bronze? No, I, I can't. Oh, man, that, maybe that doesn't work. Is there a card or something we have to make? Dang it, why does all this stuff always happen to me? <laughs> Not really. Magnet card. Uh, this is something else. Okay. Network card. I don't know. Acceleration card, redstone card, inverter card, fuzzy card, crafting, capacity. Oh, that's all Emmy applied energistic stuff. Huh. Maybe they did nerf that and you can't do that anymore. Oh, man, that's kind of hardcore. Man, that sort of invalidates a lot of the storage drawer stuff that I always like to do. So that means we might have to figure out, unless I'm doing something wrong. I mean, I don't think I am, right? This guy's got... Yeah, it says it's not even, there's nothing there. Is it because it's not on the front? Let's just te test it really quick. Why isn't this guy activated? He should be. I don't know. It's not because it's not on the front, is it? And why is he not active? I don't know. Something is not quite right here. Man, get out of here, all you creepers. Oh, man, that's dangerous flying in and out of there. Yeah, this guy's on, right? He's good. How much power is my core pulling? 38. That's. I mean, it's only a couple blocks away. It's just like right there, right? Can I? Um, what's the chances of me being able to sleep through this night? Okay. Oh, I don't know. So why isn't this thing working? Does it not? Maybe I need to move the card. Is it not, like maybe it's getting a redstone signal or something? I mean, it shouldn't be. Get out of there. Okay. Can I put it, like, right here on the floor? Well, 
Why doesn't this have power? What goes in there? What is that? Okay, let's look at at refined. Okay. What goes in there? This thing. I don't know. Network picker. I don't know what that means. I feel like there's something that goes in there. Network card. It doesn't go in here, does it? No, I don't know what goes out there. Speed. Filter. Maybe filter. Network card. Okay, that's what we put in there. Fortune upgrade. Interdimensional stack crafting speed. Huh. I don't understand. Okay. Well, I'm not sure exactly why that's not working. Here, let me go. I mean, we got to finish this episode anyway. Let's go over here real quick. Oh, my goodness. Let's dodge the creepers that are trying to, like, kill us a horrible death. Ow. Ow. Okay, this could get dangerous. In a hurry. Go in here. You can't come in. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Alright, let me see. This guy has power. We shift right click. We store it. Okay, I didn't move it or anything. So that should be good. Okay. Okay. And then we should be able to see if we plug this thing in. Maybe it is not working anymore. I don't understand why that's not getting power. Okay, so somebody's going to have to help me, ah, as always. You know, it wouldn't be an episode of Old Dadcraft 73 video unless at the end we needed some help with something. So maybe that's nerfed. If you could tell me if that's no longer supposed to be working, I would love to hear it. Maybe it doesn't work on the network. Maybe we have to actually run a cable. I mean, we could probably do that. Let me know what you think. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from my Direwolf 20 1.12 Mod Pack series, we didn't get to do any B stuff today. Well, we did a little bit. We got Fertility 1. We'll do some more. Don't you worry. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.